Hi, I'm Caroline. Welcome to my home in Brooklyn. I'm so happy you're here. I'm gonna show you how I prep for an effortless holiday gathering. And of course, we are gonna have something to drink. We are making these delicious espresso martinis. So come on in, let's have some. chef and I'm a pastry chef in Brooklyn, New York. We are going to have espresso martinis today with Angostura cocoa bitters. So one of my main tips is to not only do you want to set up your bar and have everything out for your guests, but also batch a cocktail. I like to do a little do-it-yourself cocktail station. There's a shaker, there's tongs, an ice bucket. I love to set up kind of a line of these festive glasses. The vodka's out the coffee is made, the Angostura cocoa bitters are there, and I'll do like a little recipe card with like a little how-to. Sometimes I'll do like a little illustration of like shaking the cocktail. People love to like have a little party activity. I love hosting, especially during the holidays, and I love when I can take care of people nourish them and just make them feel totally relaxed and well-fed. Basically, I want my guests to not have to ask for anything. They can just help themselves to whatever they want and everything is super easy and accessible. I think my secret weapon for entertaining is making sure that everything is totally set and done ahead of time. I'm a people person and I'm having a party so I can see all of my friends and the people I love. I love my kitchen, but it's very narrow and I don't want to be in the kitchen when my guests are over. When I'm hosting an occasion to bring it to life, prepping ahead is absolutely key. Everything has to be done. The kitchen is like closed down. Then I can just be there in the moment with everybody. If I'm prepping in advance for a party and I want to do all of my baking ahead, I really think about baked goods that still feel fresh, even if I've made them like that morning, or like doughs that I can make ahead of time, or a super moist cake, things that can, that can hang out for a little while. Come on in, welcome. Thank you guys so much for coming over. Mwah. Help yourself. We have a mocha bundt cake some rosemary brown butter shortbread, coconut bars, and espresso martinis. Sometimes I'll demo also, just so my guests know exactly how to do it. That way, if you want to welcome them with something, it's all set and ready to go. Delicious. Thank you. <laughs> espresso martini with Angostura cocoa bitters could not be more me or more perfect for this party. It's got everything I love vodka, espresso, Angostura cocoa bitters. They're so delicious. They have this incredible nutty floral flavor. They're gonna go so well with a lot of desserts, especially things with chocolate or coffee in them, nuts, especially my mocha bundt cake. And it's all gonna get poured in this beautiful cinnamon sugar rimmed glass, which is so festive and beautiful. And when you add Angostura cocoa bitters to a drink, it just kind of brings it all together in this like beautiful, harmonious way. It's perfect for this holiday gathering. Gathering in my home is memorable if there's wonderful drink, delicious food, and everybody's just able to relax and connect because that's what it's all about. Thank you so much for coming. I hope you picked up some festive tips for your next holiday party. I'm gonna go join mine. Thank you, bye.